In this video, I'm going to share with you one of the most underutilized crossing routes that you can use to pretty much beat every coverage in the game. It's going to get over 30-yard cloud flats. Like I said, it's one of the more underrated concepts that most people don't utilize, uh, but we're going to talk about it in this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. And in this video, we're talking about the PA crossers out of the Trio Y Flex. Now, the reason we're talking about this is because we're going to uh, share with you a, a little bit about this, this inverted crosser that you're going to get. That's going to be very effective, especially when you are on the right hash mark or your trips are to the wide side of the field, and uh, we can have some great spacing with that concept. So uh, let's just come out in the play now. If you guys uh, want to check this out, like I said, it's in the New York Giants ebook. If you've not picked up that ebook, I would really encourage you to join my Patreon down in the description below. By joining the Patreon, you're going to get immediate access to t all 12 of the ebooks that I've released. I've got a brand new defense that's going to be released today, and I just have to tell you, it is by far the best defense in the game. It's the best defense that I've ever really released. I've been putting, I've probably put at least two months of consistent day-to-day -day grind, uh, just labbing, labbing, labbing like crazy, and I got it right where I want it. So again, you're not just going to get this trio of flex, but you're going to get every ebook by joining that Patreon. There's a link in the description if you want to sign up for that. It's just 10 bucks a month. So PA crossers, um, and first first things first, we're going to show this against just kind of a basic uh, cover four drop uh, approach to defense. And the setup for this is actually relatively simple. So uh, what I like to do is streak uh, OJ Howard, and then you have a little bit of an option uh, what you're going to do. The, the, the primary route we're going to look to hit is Miller. Um, I actually, you can keep this post. Um, this post is not a bad thing to keep on the play. Uh, but what I like to do is drag uh, Godwin for sure. And then with Evans, you can do a couple things. I like to curl him. And then I like to put the running back on an end route. So we've got kind of a little meshing combination there. Um, and we're still going to pull all the flat zones to the outside. So anyways, you're going to see right here that I can hit this crosser right there. And I really love that read, okay? Because what it does is, let's say, for example, they're running, that was cover four. Let's say, for example, they're running something like uh, this Mike Blitz three, okay? Uh, if they're running something like this Mike Blitz three, and I was doing what I just showed you, what you should see here is because of this vertical, um, it should pull everything back. And then what you're going to see is this crosser should kind of dip like right there. And you see how I can hit that read consistently. What that's going to do is it's going to cause the user to have to user that crosser all the way across the field. And to me, that is absolutely huge because this drag is going to pull down the yellow zones. If you want to put him on an in route, you can also do that. That's a very effective route, um, either an in route or a drag. It's up to you. But what you're going to see is these yellow zones are going to get kind of sucked down and they're not going to be able to make that play. So that's kind of step one to this concept and really one of the main reasons why I like it so much. Now, step two is let's say, for example, they are playing, um, you know, kind of the meta Mabel coverage with 30 yard cloud flats and five yard uh, curl flats. Well, your in route to your running back is going to be wide open if they run that defense. Um, you're also going to have that curl flat concept on the backside. But the other cool part about this is when you pair this crosser with a tight end streak, if you pass lead that, and he stopped running right there, but if you pass lead that, it's because the tight end got bumped. If you pass lead that at the right angle, um, you're going to have a lot of success. So again, let me just try to show that one more time. And we'll just put up our set up our kind of standard uh, Mabel coverage. I'm going to move this guy back just a little bit so that he doesn't jam that guy off the line. If their zone drops are set, they're not going to have those press animations uh, typically. So, anyways, what you're going to see right here, eh, he still he still jammed him, um, but you're going to pass like that, like kind of right in this little area right here. Yeah, Scotty Miller's being a little weird. Let me show it to you against Cover Four real quick. Cover Four is a little easier because you don't get the jam animation. And then we'll come back to cover three in just a second. So again, just streak and do something like this. Obviously you can hit that like right there, of course, but then what you can really cool is against cover four, you see how deep that gets. See how deep it gets over the top of the cover four drop. So it's a really good play if you're getting a lot of cover four drop. Um, if you're getting a lot of cover two, um, this is also a really good concept. So let's say for example, we're getting a lot of cover two. Cover two does decent uh, at defending that kind of snap throw, if you will. But you're still, you're going to see this deep half kind of shade out. Uh, but if I wait on this play, pass lead that to the right. And what you'll see here, eh, Scotty Miller is killing me. What you'll see is he'll he'll keep running. You just have to time your throw a little bit better than I am. I'm throwing it just like a hair too late um, so that he keeps running. 
uh, but when he keeps running, you'll see that the, that's why we like to run it to this hash mark here, because if we were running it to the other side, um, it's a lot easier for him to stop running. So again, just right in here, and you're just kind of waiting for that critical point right there, and there you see, kind of keeps running, and he gets underneath that underneath that deep half uh, type of coverage, okay? So that's one of the reasons why I like this concept so much is because that route is really good. Now, obviously, um, let me come back to the Mike Blitz 3 here for just a second. I'm going to back this guy off just so that he doesn't press that guy because if their zone drops are set, he's not going to press him. And he would only call this play if they're running a lot of 30-yard cloud flats um, because it gets so deep. But what you'll see here, you can just wait on it, pass lead to the right, and you see he kind of keeps running, Okay. So that's the beauty of this concept is you have that crosser that can get over the top of these routes. The other thing that I really think is very underrated about this play, though, and like I just said, is hitting this route kind of right in there. I think that is very underrated um, because it just it just slices up every zone. Every zone in the game is going to have trouble with this play. And then let's say, for example, that you get a man call. Um from, what, from my experience, when I get man coverage on this route, um, the running back is really the best way to go. The running back route is wide open almost every time if they're running man coverage. Obviously, you have to account for a user, so you're just reading your mesh, really. Um, but if you just read this, this little meshing combination, you're going to see that they just do a really good job of working off one another, and you're going to be able to get easy yardage. So uh, to me, this concept is really good, especially if you're getting a lot of, like, Mabel um, if you're getting a lot of Mabel, this is great. And the, re the biggest reason why uh, is because that zone, there's, they have to use her that all the way across the field, right? So if that's the case, then something like a little basic little in route, they're going to have to come down to use her that, right? So if they come down, then I can hit that kind of right in that area. I threw it a little bit too early or a little bit too late there. But you'll see, again, it's just any cover three. It doesn't matter if it's Mike Blitz 3, but what you're gonna see right there, he crumbs underneath, and then I can hit that and get that animation. You get that animation every time. If you put deep out of lead on that guy, it's gonna be very consistent for you. So uh, anyways, that's just a concept that I really enjoy uh, utilizing, especially against those meta Mabel coverages. So if you want to learn the rest of the offense, I'd really encourage you to consider joining the Patreon membership. You can do that by clicking the link in the description below. For just $10 a month, you're going to get immediate access to all of my ebooks. I've released 12 so far, 13 after today, and then we're going to have more ebooks coming uh, in the next couple of weeks here. So a lot of stuff, a lot of content coming your way. So thanks for watching the video. And if you're interested in joining my Patreon, getting all my ebooks, there's a link in the description below. So just head on down to the description and click that link.